scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Every time a miracle is about to happen to you, you will have a dream in the night. Either someone molesting you or something happens and that is the end of it. Somebody who said I will favor you will turn against you I decree and declare by the decree of the watchers by the power that raised Christ from the dead every altar sponsoring delay and sponsoring um, abortions of great dreams just when it's about to happen I curse it right now I curse it bring them out I curse it right now listen many of you have heard the stories of people they will tell you i suddenly got a job that i applied for in 2017 it did not just happen there are spirits that stop it but when they are taken away upon mount zion there shall be deliverance then holiness then possessing of possessions there is someone you are at the back you are a man of god i just saw fire come on you you don't even know why ministry has not been working the lord is visiting you i'm seeing at the back there is such such anointing that glory is just resting upon someone and breaking that yoke of delay in ministry that people come and they go they come and they go there is no staying and there's no growing in the name of jesus wherever that person is may the power of god touch you right where you are in the name of jesus christ do you know there is the spirit of poverty then there is the mindset of poverty if the only thing you correct is the mindset you will still be poor there is the spirit of poverty there is the mindset of poverty then there is the absence of value and productivity all of these are factors that ultimately lead to poverty you can find your place in terms of providing value but if the spirit and the mindset is not corrected you will still be poor you can provide value and even upgrade your mind but the limitation of intellect it cannot cross beyond to the realm of the spirit and correct spiritual things are we together the same way the spirit of poverty can be cast away but the mindset of poverty can remain you will still be poor the mindset of poverty can go away and the spirit of poverty can go away but then if there is no value and productivity you may it may not amount to much you will just have an epileptic financial life here you will learn the whole counsel of god it is the value and productivity but then the transition that happens to you mentally but ultimately the king of tyre he sits in tyre and sidon himself he lifted jesus and took him into an exceeding high mountain and said showed him all the kingdoms and the glories and he said i will give you this is not the issue of you are transformed i will is a transaction we will do from the realm of the spirit i want to rebuke that spirit 
there is a real spirit of poverty i have seen people who spent 10 20 years in the u.s and will return back when you see them in the village today respectfully speaking you will never believe that they've even traveled even to the, the state the capital it's a spirit when you find out four or five graduates all with phd and the least person respectfully speaking is maybe some teacher somewhere earning twenty thousand with phd this is more than the issue of value there is a spirit my assignment is to deal with spirits hear me anytime you see that you are not where you use where you should be and from a physical standpoint all that should be in place is in place there is a spirit stopping you let me pray for someone in up see many people the power of god will come on so many people over this prayer father i am praying that every territorial altar that has sponsored poverty generational hardships you are still going to shout that name jesus i decree and declare at the shout and the blast of that name jesus let the fire of God fall and deliver families. Are you ready now? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I command that altar to give way now. Bring them out. I cast that spirit. I cast that spirit. I cast that spirit. Tying down families. Tying down destinies. Be lifted in the name of Jesus. My God, miracles are happening here. Deliverances of all sorts. Please help them so they don't enjoy themselves. Bring them out if you can. Hallelujah. Who is Janet? I'm hearing a name, Janet. I want to pray for the sick Janet I can imagine that there are many people with that name but the Lord is speaking Janet my dear you are stepping into a new season of favor in the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands towards you this is not only you this is you and your husband It's a season of reward that is coming God is looking upon you with favor and with grace and I declare may that grace rest upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ there are five or six people who will start running out please hold them and bring them out gently <sighs> lift up your heads O ye gates 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 bring them out I'm seeing something in the realm of the spirit I made this statement because I just saw a gate very old gate it's like it just blasted and it opened that's why I, I was prophesying that lift up your heads oh ye gates for some of these gates they have been closed for centuries they have been closed for decades like Jericho nothing comes out and nothing comes in but the God of vengeance is opening those gates right now Please help them so that no one injures themselves. Janet, with Janet, I want to pray for you. The power of God is coming on one of you. Janet, I just saw something come out, like physically, just, um, I, I almost didn't even know that. Just come out of one of you. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke that spirit. The Bible says a curse causeless shall not stand. So if it stands, there is a curse. 
and if there is a cause the remedy is the blood therefore i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead every legal access i use these people in front as a point of contact every legal access that the devil has over any life and any destiny that is authorizing oppression by the blood of the eternal covenant that speaks better things than the blood of abel i declare that legal access is broken now broken now broken now broken now open your mouth in one minute and declare every legal access that is authorizing oppression by the blood of jesus even the blood of the eternal covenant i declare my release i declare my release i announce a jubilee by the spirit of grace faith brings me to my jubilee and I declare, I announce a jubilee. Someone is praying a financial jubilee, a health jubilee. Hallelujah. Who is Christopher? I'm hearing the name Christova. We may not have all the time to just prophesy. Christova, restoration is coming. Christova. Ah, can you imagine? This man, that was his wife, Del, that was under the anointing. Christova. Who sells phones? Phones like electronics, but I'm saying phone. You sell. You sell phone is there someone like that you have like a phone shop I want to pray for the person now please if it's your issue you had the testimony of that gentleman once there's a delay protocol will naturally have to stop you because we have to hurry up when you find that you sell phone you deal with phone gadgets please let me have that person I want to pray for him Christova the Lord is bringing restoration. That's what I heard in my spirit. Restoration. Two of you, the power of God is coming upon you. A strange grace is coming upon you for restoration. The way God will restore things, it will surprise you. Everyone will receive, but two of you, the power of God is coming on you. In the name of Jesus, I declare it so. May that mantle rest upon your life. Let there be restoration, supernatural restoration. Where is that lady that gave that footballer, that my footballer lady, where is she? The lady who came to, as she was testifying, God had put it in my heart to pray. Is she here? Is she around? She's a footballer now. She should hurry up. You are a footballer. You should be able to. Your life is about to change. Do you believe in miracles? Hmm. Yes, sir. There is a kingmaker anointing. Listen, kingmakers don't become kings, but they enthrone and they dethrone. It is by privilege of grace. There is something that is happening here as I'm praying. You will hear testimonies of people like that thing they say, grass, is it grass, grass to grace? My dear, in the name of Jesus, I place an anointing upon you. I'm seeing that the doors of Europe will open for you. Receive that grace. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ. As I've prayed for her, let me speak for to, over everyone. Anyone called Mephibosheth, that you are in your lowly estate by reason of certain disadvantages in your life, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that David sends for you. The season has come for your lifting. Oh, thou Mephibosheth, David has sent Ziba to look for you. I stand as a prophetic Ziba. In the name of Jesus, you are sent for by the lion of the tribe of Judah, even the root of David. 
in the name of Jesus Christ and David said is there any man of the house of Saul that he may dine with me and Ziba went to Lord Eba and brought Mephibosheth and he made the sons of Ziba to plow the land for him but as for him he said you will dine with me here for the rest of your days God has visited your wife Christopher at least I know this one this is not it's your turn favor God is going to be connecting you to people of strange influence I release that grace right now upon you in the name of Jesus Christ that the gates of this city will open for you in a way that will surprise you let this happen even by the Spirit of God in the name of Jesus Christ my friend what do you do why are they all here this one at the back that one with a nose, nose mask phones, phone, phone gadgets phone gadgets yes, where in Dutse 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 shopping complex sir. okay you believe in the power of God yes sir two months yes sir. two Amen. months Amen. from now Amen. please hear me take that grace two months from now my God will turn your life around in a way that will surprise you this is by the Spirit I'm not the one doing it is as instructed that the Lord puts in my heart and I declare it in the name of Jesus and for all of you who have come out here for various reasons there is a man you are a lawyer what is God doing with legal people I'm seeing the Lord is bringing restoration this is a legal practitioner in the name of Jesus I don't know where that person is but you have lost money you have lost things in the name you don't have to come out please just except I ask you if not the time we may not be able to what do you do ah huh? where I'm a lawyer with it. I practice in Abuja integrity chambers where integrity chambers how long has this been I've been into practice for the past 10 years do you believe in the power of God yes sir you've lost everything yes sir. money yes sir. opportunities yes, sir. they defrauded you yes sir. but now God wants to restore you Amen. do you believe this yes sir, I believe sir do you know you would think that because the power of God flows through me I should be used to this I'm standing in shock myself as I watch how God turns lives around believe me believe me my friend in the name of Jesus I use you as a point of contact every legal practitioner here you've not been rising no clients no open doors fire is coming on you now I'm seeing someone you are in the ushering department and you are a lawyer you are a lady where is that person your doors are opening please Just take it. Don't worry. You don't have to. God is going to visit you. Legal practitioner. In the name of Jesus. Please don't tell lies. Make sure. Are you, are you lawyers? Huh? Father, you have spoken. In the name of Jesus. Let that grace rest upon you now. Let that grace rest upon you now. Let doors be open for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. My friend, the one I started praying for, in Jesus' name I pray for you. Let there be restoration. Forget about everything you have lost. The God of heaven is able to restore. If he restored Job, may he restore you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is Phillips? Phillips. Who is? May God bless you. You are all blessed in Jesus' name. I want to pray for the sick, but am I wasting your time? Phillips, I'm hearing. Please, let's verify so that, you know, sometimes these people just run, whether they are the ones or not. They will come and they will say, by faith. We're people of faith, but let's just make sure that we don't tell lies. You can receive by faith. That gentleman, God wants to turn his life around. Phillips. Take it easy, take it easy, please. The ushers are trying, they are human beings who so take it easy because if they are tired, they will leave you to fall down. You may enjoy yourself. Let's take it easy. What do you do, my friend? And I'm a teacher. 
Where? I have a cosmetic shop and I'm a professional teacher. So I combine the both. Okay, I want to pray for you. Where are they coming out? You are Philips too? All of you? I will pray for you. The one with white, what are you doing? I'm a businessman. Okay, we'll pray. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I don't know what God is doing with ushers. There's one ushering person who will shout now under the anointing. The power of God. I don't know whether it's inside here, whether it's outside. I'm praying for... Every altar. In the name of Jesus, I curse it right now. Hear me. Whatever will not give you rest. In the name of Jesus, may it be laid to rest now. May, may it be laid to rest now. For all of you, you came out here for various reasons. I stretch my hands towards you. May the power of God rest upon you and everything that has brought retrogression in your life, let it come to an end now. Let it come to an end now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it come to an end now. In the name of Jesus, God bless you. The gentleman under the anointing, he's blessed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Please don't be embarrassed there. I'm seeing one of them, I don't know, it's like you are up somewhere, you are a medical doctor. And then one I'm seeing in one of the overflows. These two, I know there are many medical doctors here, but I'm just walking as the Spirit of God is granting me grace because we're going to quickly pray for the sick. Medical doctor, I don't know if um, one of them I know for sure is in one of the overflows and then... Is there someone like that I want to speak over your life God is changing your life in one of the not outside one of the overflows you're a medical doctor and then someone within this place like somewhere up the balcony not here you're a medical doctor is there someone like that please when you find them let me speak over their lives so that we'll bring this to an end now I don't mean to embarrass you but there's The person I'm seeing is a lady. You made your hair. You didn't tie it. This is what I'm seeing. You're a lady. You didn't like you pack your hair like this. Is there someone like that? Medical doctor. See how many doctors we have here. That means we shouldn't be sick, spiritually and medically. Hallelujah. Father, I was going to say something, it just escaped my mind now. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. You, 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 you would imagine that these sincere people, some of them, please, I'm not insulting you, eh? I'm not insulting you, but you can't imagine the things I'm seeing as I'm looking here. These are sincere people who love the Lord, attending to other people, and yet for some of them, there are all kinds of embargoes just holding them down. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare right now, there's one of you, there is such fire that is coming on you right now as I'm speaking. In the name of Jesus, release them now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I declare freedom for you in the name of Jesus. You have been applying to go abroad, applying to go abroad, applying to go abroad. It's like this spirit will not let it happen. You have not even gone past the first stage and it's not like you are lazy. Something just happens and it does not even work. Even before scholarships and now everything is over, you were not even given. In the name of Jesus, I declare, by the power of the Holy Spirit, a change of story comes for you now. A change of story comes for you now. A change of story comes for you now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord is ministering to me to do something different. Please bring out your prayer request.
don't submit it just bring it out you are going to pray holding it it's a good thing to walk with the Holy Spirit and not just to be mechanical please bring out your prayer request if you've not written you may want to write it down I'm not a prophet of doom and usually I would not come to say this in the open but let's pray I'm seeing a major person in the judiciary go to be with the Lord just like that and they say this person has gone I'm not a prophet of doom but and ordinarily it, it would not even profit me to say anything sometimes God just puts it in your heart and he has been insisting I've been struggling with it to say it but we have to pray there are some things that the prayer now is to help the people so that they put their houses in order but I'm seeing someone in the judiciary you will hear this happen may the Lord show the family mercy in the name of Jesus Christ and that they put their houses in order but this is what God has revealed to me please bring your prayer requests I want you to truly believe that the things that you have written will come to pass some of you you may not have any personal need but you are writing for the sake of others some of you are holding photos in one minute ordinarily I would ask you to bring it here but the Lord just began to put this in my spirit I've not even prayed for the sick and even if we pray and we don't have the time to take testimonies that's fine this is it's not some ritual where people who are led of the spirit hallelujah but in one minute while holding your prayer request I want you to agree with God and say father everything that I've written in the name of Jesus let it become my testimony someone is praying everything I have written everything I have written outside inside you're writing it for yourself those online you're connecting by faith in the name of Jesus I have seen God answer prayers in remarkable ways please pray it's an instruction that God is putting in my spirit if you can mention the things you wrote mention them by faith to be anxious for nothing the Bible says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving it says to let our requests be made known unto God let your request be made known unto God let your request be made known unto God let your request be made known unto God hallelujah now please hear me I'm going to give a very serious instruction and I want you to listen please listen if you are here and you've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb please listen you have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb we are going to pray during the program but immediately after the program please I want to meet with you so all those who are here number one be sure you are married and then number two make sure that um, you are serious about what we are saying we are believers we are not idol worshippers so if you if you don't believe just go away but those you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb please after the service I want you to wait I will ask the product you can wait in front here I'll ask the protocol to lead you I want to have a word with you your salvation has come in the name of Jesus believe me when I tell you your salvation has come in the name of Jesus now while you are standing please you can pass your request to the last person ushers please let's collect it now let's collect it now who is Samuel a baby Samuel a baby 
Is there someone like that? A baby, oh, huh? Your son? And so you stand now. Who else? Samuel, a baby. You too. Is my friend, but even though he's not a baby, this boy is. How old is he? Four. Ah, four. You are not a baby boy. You are my friend because you have smiled at me. I will pray for you. Where? Eh? How are you? Are you my friend? Yes. Beautiful. Because you are my friend. Welfare. I don't know where you are going to find cake, but make sure this my little boy, this boy, give him something and bless him. Huh? In fact except it will create chaos if it will not create chaos and we can do it in the next one minute from one to ten bring all our children here <laughs> parents if you can do it orderly please don't carry anybody's child who is not your own this is a large house i'm warning now let's obey instructions obedience is better than sacrifice let's celebrate our children as they come this is koinonia future Is this how you are honoring them? Parents, if they are coming out, hold them. Anyone that cannot walk you, come with them. Jesus loves the little children all the children of the world red brown yellow black and white they are precious in his sight jesus loves the little children of the world hallelujah children god bless you eh? just behave well don't give your parents headache we're about to pray for you huh some of you at this age you were in a shrine you were not even here so glory to god that we have our children in the house of god i know what i'm saying some of you at this age there was an altar and all kinds of demonic things being done on you it's just in my spirit to pray for these precious children don't belittle them the person whose future you have already seen you've seen it but the one whose future you have not seen only god knows Remember what you are learning as an adult is what they are learning as children. Please, if you are coming, come quickly. Parents, I'm seeing some other people come. We are all going to do it. We'll pray this prayer. Sorry, sorry. Help me. Please, just comfort the children. Soon we'll have a children's department. You see how this, these children, there has to be a way of managing this. So for those of you who are in children ministry, get ready. You will soon have work in the name of Jesus. Start, start thinking already. Start planning. How are we going to have the best child care system? Now, please stretch your hands wherever you are to these ones. And I want you to begin to speak over their lives from the depth of your heart. Pray like you are praying for your own biological child. Is someone praying? This is part of the miracle service. Please cry to the God of heaven. Don't worry if you are holding a child's picture, just lift it. You don't have to come. Just lift it where you are. Please pray. Children, pray to talk to Jesus. Father, we pray for our children. We pray for our children. We pray for our children. We pray for our children in the name of Jesus. These koinonia children will not be lost. Please, someone pray. They will not die before their time in the name of jesus the hand of god is upon them they represent the future of this ministry the future of this vision lord we love them we honor them and we pray that you will bless them satan the lord rebuke you someone rebuke satan the lord rebuke you over the life of these children we separate them from the company of wicked and unreasonable men we separate them from occultism initiations of of infants in the name of jesus we declare they are free 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 from it and if there is any child here 
that is under any kind of occultic manipulation witchcraft wizardry in the name of jesus we bring them deliverance now we bring them deliverance now we bring them deliverance now i decree and declare i join my faith with everyone here and every parent here and we speak over our children in the name of jesus prayer number one none of them will die an infant i say it again none of them will die an infant number two everything connected to ancestry whether coming from the east the west the north and the south in the name of jesus we bring them deliverance now number three academically we place an anointing upon them may they excel like daniel number four as touching the matters of god may they have the encounters of samuel even as infants in the name of jesus christ and finally i am praying that every parent here who is alive seeing their children in the name of jesus you will see them as adults you will see them as leaders you will see them as great people in the name of jesus christ the lord bless you and the lord increase you in jesus name let's celebrate them as they go please i want you to lay your hands you are trusting god for a healing miracle lay your hands now please i want us to be very orderly with the children make sure that they go back to their parents or their loved ones please let's let's make sure that they go children can run around and play but make sure that they go especially for the, the very small ones let's make sure that they return back hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and then if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain